So friends, next question like a Next question is a wonderful question. Okay, a mixture of thermodynamics and also uh, current electricity. Okay, so in that question, an electric kettle takes four ampere current at 220 volt. How much time will it take to boil one kilogram of water from temperature 20 degrees Celsius? Okay, boiling water 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, so how much time in that we will take? So in this case, we have to say what we should think is nothing but just uh, equalize the energies. Okay? What we should think is that we should equalize the energies. 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 Now, we have electrical energy. The heat energy required to boil the water. We should equalize the temperature range. So, what equation we must use? We must use the equation. Q is equal to mc delta theta. So here we have mc delta theta. Okay, m is 1 kilogram. But usually we have heat capacity of 1 gram. Or 1 calorie. So heat capacity of water. And specific heat capacity of water. You must remember it very much clearly. Okay, specific heat capacity of water. Okay, what is the word? What is the word? What is the word? What is the specific heat capacity of water? 1 calorie per gram. Okay, 1 calorie per gram. Otherwise, how many joules are you? How many joules per gram are you? 4.18 joules per gram. Okay, so we have Q is equal to. 1000 gram okay because we are calculating the specific heat uh, usually in grams okay so 1000 into 4.18 into delta theta what is the delta theta 100 minus 20 and that is nothing but 80 so we have 1000 into 80 into what 4.18 okay Please keep it as such. Okay. Or you can ask me calculate it. Okay. That's why your calculations are getting lengthier and you are not getting time. Okay. Just keep it as such. We can cancel them out. Okay. Please don't waste time by calculating all these ones and again dividing it. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. This is how we calculate electrical energy. Power into time. What is power? Vi. So we have electrical energy is equal to Vit and that is nothing but 220 volt into 4 ampere into T. That time on calculating that. So just equate them both 220 into 4 into T is equal to 1000 into 4.18 into 80. Okay. So normal like E or 4 name or 4.18 and just cancel it. Apo na mga 220. A 2 na cancel it. Iyan 11 now. A 0 0 cancel. So we have 11 T is equal to 4000 and that is T is equal to 4000 by 11. You can approximate it as 4000 by 10 that is 400. Pakshay, we actually 11 which I have divided in another. So we have to choose a number less than 400. That is nothing but our do. But we have to choose a number less than 400. That is nothing but our do. But we have to choose a number less than 400. That is nothing but our do. But we have to choose a number less than 400. That is nothing but our do. But we have to choose a number less than 400. That is nothing but our do. But we have to choose a number less than 400. That is nothing but our do. But we have to choose so how to convert it into uh, minutes? Okay, 400 seconds. So, how many minutes? 400 by 60 minutes. 40 by 6, 20 by 3. But 20, uh, 20 by 3 and nearly uh, 6 into 3, uh, 18, 7 to 3, 21. So 6 point something in the already. And there is only one option in that, that is 6.3 minutes. Okay, so that is the answer. Now let's go to our next question. That is, uh, this is uh, also an, uh, a question which was asked to me as a doubt. Okay, so it's a very easy question. That is, if we concept on the other, that is semiconductors and current electricity. Okay, so semiconductors. We know that. Namalde, our triangle and variant then that a PN junction diode is positive part, and that is the N part. Okay, that line is the N part. Okay, le. So. When higher voltage, okay, when the positive potential is attached to the P uh, part and the uh, negative to the N part, then it will be forward biased. And when the negative part is connected to the positive uh, potential, means our P N junction diode, N and the the positive load to P N the negative load to angle, that the entire reverse biased diode. So reverse biased diode in the conductor is current conductor chayla. It will not conduct any electricity. So you know, okay, okay, what a positive potential upwards. Okay. So we have to find. Okay. Ah, uh, but question bar nila lla. Question and that's why we have to find the uh, maximum output voltage across this of this two ohm resistor. Okay, so upon the Nilka, you would a diode or semiconductor or your Korea resistors on Mulla, would you circuit the Nilka Tanina? If you are given a circuit containing semiconductors or diodes as well as uh, resistors, what you should do first is 
find which diode is forward biased and which diode is reverse biased okay so idile ningal nokkuvaanengil the diode seen on your left side okay ee or side lulla left side lulla the endana reverse biased aanu so no need to consider that part okay so current flows through this appo angane aavumbo engane irikkum nammale circuit diagram our circuit diagram becomes this okay so we have to find the uh, output uh, voltage across this two ohm resistor so adha engane kanakkaakam you need not do, uh, do any calculation നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എന്ത് ചെയ്യാം ഈ ടോട്ടൽ ആ ഒരു ടോട്ടൽ പാരൽ കോമ്പിനേഷൻ എക്രോസ് ആയിട്ട് എത്രയാണ് വോൾട്ടേജ് ഡ്രോപ്പ് ടെൻ വോൾട്ട് അല്ലെ ടെൻ വോൾട്ടേജ് ഡ്രോപ്പ് ആണ് ഓൾറെഡി ആ ഗ്രാഫിൽ തന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് സോ വാട്ട് വി ഷുഡ് ഡു നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ടെൻ വോൾട്ടേജ് ഓക്കെ ദീസ് ടു ആർ ടു ഓം റെസിസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് സോ ഐഡന്റിക്കൽ റെസിസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ആകുമ്പോൾ വോൾട്ടേജ് ഈക്വൽ ആയിട്ട് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്ത് പോകും ഇൻ സീരീസ് കോമ്പിനേഷൻ പാരലില് രണ്ടിലും സെയിം ആയിരിക്കും So, this is how much voltage is dropped in this 10 divides into 2. So, 5 volt. So, 5 volt will be the answer.